To start with, I'm going to pick a hero shot, a shot that I know I like that generalized look of for exposure. It's fairly well shot. I don't necessarily want to be on the first frame. I can hit play. I can also use these controls to the top to go to the best average frame or the brightest or darkest from a given shot. This is great for longer footage. I think I'm going to use this shot as my sort of my master because of his face and everything that's seen there as a storyteller and I'm going to say A for assist. That's that AI choice that's going to match into auto color. And so we can see now we've got a version of that there. Nothing. And then the AI. It's done a little bit. Maybe we like what it's done. Maybe we don't. I'm going to use the color tune here. Open it up and just take a look at what we have. These are the different models. For example, I currently have it set to just balance the shot. It's sitting back and not worrying about exposure versus, say, RGB, where it's individually working with each channel. To a degree, it doesn't matter which one you pick, but I try to pick one that's aesthetically pleasing to me, and I think balance only was that choice. Right now, I want to encourage you to pick whichever one you feel represents the imagery the best. You'll note that me making a choice created a new version. I'll do that once or twice more. Enter key to open this up. Maybe we'll pick perceptual one. And we can compare. Yeah, I definitely like this perceptual one better for its general warmth. 